let's talk about the most important skill in VBA coding. It might not be what you think. It's Chris here from Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. Now this video is for anybody who's interested in code, getting started with code, and maybe you're thinking, mm, I'm not sure if I can do code. I'm not from a technical background, you know, I don't have the right qualifications. I'm not sure if I can do code. You might be surprised. The critical skills that you need to do code are not necessarily technical skills. You might have them already. So let me explain. Now I've just finished a teaching job at a university here in the UK. I've been working there for about 10 years. I teach there one day a week and we do a programming course there, uh, Excel VBA, and we have a range of students from different backgrounds, some from very technical backgrounds, others from the arts and from the social scientists, so a real range of students. Now what I've noticed over the years, something that's really intrigued me, is there isn't really a correlation between the student's background, so whether they're from a technical background, and how well they do on the program. Naturally, we'd think, oh, if they're from a technical background, they're doing maths or some kind of logic-based subject, they'll probably naturally do better on programming. Now, that is true to some extent, but there's plenty of exceptions, a lot of notable exceptions. People who've come from softer backgrounds, art subjects, tend to do very well on the program. So we can't just say that the main driver of coding success is having a technical background. There's more to it than that and there's much, much more to it than that. So what is this actual critical skill that some people have from lots of different backgrounds that helps them with coding? Well, if you're getting started with coding, then you know very well that things are going to go wrong and they go wrong a lot in the early days when you're getting started with coding. But the news is they keep going wrong. Even when I'm doing coding sessions today, I've been working on projects this week, things do go wrong. Now the critical skill in coding is your ability to deal with problems, which comprises a few different capabilities. And I'm bundling those up with this term resilience. Your resilience is the main determinant of how you will do as a coder. Now, hopefully that's empowering to you. It's not necessarily, you know, it's not a technical thing. You don't have to have a maths background or a programming background. This, in my view, is the most important attribute. So what is resilience in this context and how does it manifest itself in programming? Well, we just said things go wrong all the time. And how you react when things go wrong is an opportunity, if you like, to demonstrate resilience. When things go wrong, we get the VBA editor, you know, we want to close the laptop, chuck the computer out the window, you know, I've been close to doing that myself many times. And more importantly, you might have some messages in your mind saying, oh, I can't do this, you know, code is for programmers, I'm not a computer programmer, I'm not qualified to do this. So we want to avoid all that. And what I want you to try to do when you have a problem with VBA is just to say, it's okay, I'll fix it. Now, in the fullness of time, and we'll talk about debugging in a second, in the fullness of time, as you build your resilience, you'll actually see these situations where things go wrong as an opportunity for learning. And as you develop that resilience, they don't scare you anymore. Uh, for me now, I feel fairly confident in those situations. So we've got this idea of resilience and that initial reaction is important. Then we've also got to learn how to debug. How well can you cope with problems in Excel? Well, we could say, put that in other words, how well can you debug? How well can you uh, work out what's wrong with the code. How do we do that in Excel VBA? Well, there's a few basic things first, really important. Can you align Excel and the Excel VBA editor? Really basic skill. So many people out there struggle with it. Now it helps if you've got two screens, but even on a single screen on your laptop, can you line up Excel and the VBA editor? Now this is so important because it means you can work through the code and then understand what's going on in Excel. This is the best setup uh, for debugging. 
What are some of the debugging aids in the VBA editor? Well, in the debug menu, we've got some really useful tools and one you'll see me use all the time in the videos is the F8 key, a shortcut on the Windows PC, step into, step into. This allows us to literally step through the code line by line. If we've got the windows lined up, we can be watching Excel at the same time and understanding what's going on. There's other useful debugging aids too. Uh, breakpoints is also useful. You can put a breakpoint in to stop the code at a certain point, allow you to go into the code, understand what's going on. And then fairly simple things like hovering the cursor over a variable in order to understand the value of the variable. Very simple, very effective as a debugging aid. So we're talking about resilience and resilience defined as how you respond when things go wrong. And we're saying you've got to get that initial reaction right. So try to resist the urge to throw the computer out the window or shut the computer. Try to defeat that kind of negative voice in your head that's saying you can't do it. And just calmly say, I can fix this. I'm going to go through my debugging routine. How well you get to know those debugging aids. Can you do that setup with Excel and VBA? How well you can do those things is another critical determinant of your coding success. So back to uh, the university situation. Now we have uh, tutorials, these tutorial sessions where the students work through some exercises and the teachers kind of um, move around and answer the questions. Now, at the beginning of term, students are putting their hands up all the time, uh, trying to get lots of teacher time. That's because when they're beginning the module, getting started with their programming careers, their resilience, you know, really isn't that highly developed. You know, when they get a problem, their first instinct is to disengage and look for help. Now, as we go through the term, I'm just gently reinforcing these messages about resilience. So when something goes wrong in Excel, you've got to learn what to do. You've got to get familiar with those debugging aids. You've got to try to sort out yourself and gradually come to see it as an opportunity for learning. And I do see, with most of the students, I do see their attitudes change and they become less reliant on the teacher. They become more reliant on themselves because gradually they're building these debugging skills. You know, and I can see it when a student has a problem, you know, they might reach to put their hand up, then they think, no, I might be able to sort this out themselves. They're getting the VBA editor open, getting that set up with Excel and VBA, using some of the debugging aids to work out the problem. And as we go through the term, my aim as a teacher, and it might sound kind of counterproductive uh, to your teaching career, but I think your aim, a good VBA trainer, should try to make him or, him or herself redundant over the time. I'm looking for students and the people I train to gradually reduce their dependency on the trainer. That's a sign that they're building this critical skill of resilience, self-reliance, confidence in their own ability to solve problems in Excel VBA. If you get um, good at solving problems, gradually move towards this mindset of a problem being an opportunity to learn. There is no limit, seriously. There's no limit to how far you can go with Excel VBA. This is the critical skill. I love having you on the channel. I love the fact you're watching these videos. Over time, you're actually gonna reduce your dependency on coming to people like me because you're gonna have awesome debugging skills built on this capability, critical skill of resilience. That's gonna help you launch your programming career. Good. So I'm Chris from Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions. I hope this video was interesting for you. Maybe it was what you expected. Maybe it wasn't what you expected. Either way, I'd love it if you left a comment. If it was helpful for you, leave me a thumbs up too. And in the comments here, let me know what other coding videos you'd like to see. One final thing, if you'd like a simple free training program for getting started with VBA, where you'll see me demonstrating these resilient skills, debugging, and lots and lots of other things in VBA, check out our Excel VBA for Beginners playlist. This is totally free. We've got 50 plus videos on there. It's gonna help you get started with Excel VBA. Okay, that's it. that's it for this video. I'll see you soon.